All right, hello guys. Uh, once again, we're back on the show. All right, <laughs> uh, and today we have with us three very beautiful looking, well, one beautiful girl and two guys um, with us here. Yeah, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about what they're doing here and yeah, what their role is in PGAFC. So what are you guys doing here? What are you guys part of? Um, we are here actually to represent uh, CUG, the College University Group of PJAFC. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, Alicia, right? Yes. So what is this, what's this CUG thing all about? Um, it's a time where the college and university students gather together to um, worship God and fellowship together um, mm -hmm. through Bible studies and sometimes um, just free topics mm -hmm. and discussions to help us um, <coughs> grow together as a body of Christ. Okay. And uh, what time do you guys meet on a regular basis? Usually it's about 8.30 and usually we try to start on time. And <laughs> but you guys always start on time, right? Of course, yes. definitely. Okay, so um, CUG uh, comprises of people from about 18 to maybe 23. Okay. okay? So um, people who just completed their SPM would come to CUG mm -hmm. and while they're doing their college, whether in their college or in their uni, they'll be here. and. Yeah, this um, CUG actually helps them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so why don't you guys tell us your names and uh, what your role is in um, CUG committee? Starting from you. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Jit Hao and I was in charge of outings, outreach and others. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> and yourself? Yep. Uh, my name is Marcus and I'm just for this year, I was just a regular CUG <laughs> member. Regular, very regular. Trying my best to be <laughs> regular. Yeah. Good. And, okay. and uh, my name is Alicia. Um, this year, I served as one of the Bible study um, leaders, mm -hmm. um, i.e., CG leader. Okay. Okay. Sorry. In your two years in CUG, how have you how have you felt that CUG has helped your growth in your walk with the Lord? Mm, I feel like CUG is a good place to um, fellowship, have fellowship, yeah. Um, because the people here, you know, you can relate with them. They're all, we're all in going through the same phase. And also the Bible study has been good, good yeah. Uh, it's helped me in my growth, you know. Uh, it's one of the sources where I can, you know, learn the word. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, I've also um, made a good set of friends. Yeah, you know, that can hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, Alicia, so, so 2014 has been an interesting year. Indeed, it has been. <laughs> Thank you, Yoda. So, um, can you tell us some highlights uh, for CUG in 2014? Oh, that's a some, <laughs> yeah, something that you remember a Bible study or an activity? Wow. One of the most memorable CUG meetings that we had uh, was probably the one about Halloween. Okay. Probably because it's the most one of the more recent ones, that's why I remember it clearly okay. in my mind. Um but yeah it was interesting because you know Halloween is actually something quite controversial in, in church and people um I mean churches sometimes discourage the younger mm. people from um celebrating this event. Mm -hmm. So um, the fact that CUG wanted to um, address this topic was very interesting uh, and um, when we came for this event we learned more about the background of Halloween mm -hmm. and whether it's um, something that we should celebrate mm -hmm. as a whole or mm -hmm. reject totally and um, yeah I think it's interesting that we have this kind of discussions mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. um, help the youth grow as well like we don't just dig into the word and all that we, we also um, address the happenings of this yep. world so that we can be relevant to society at large. Yep, that's a good, very good point. Mm -hmm. um, Alicia, what is the theme for CUG next year? Um, the theme for CUG next year is similar to um, the impact theme. Actually, it's the same theme. <laughs> um, it's called um, Each One Rich One. Yep. yep. And so how, how does CUG fit into that theme? How, how are you guys going to um, achieve that? Well, um, splitting into our different cell groups, we hope to um, grow closer together as um, a small group and we hope that by doing this we'll be able to rope in our friends out there who may be searching for a group like that to grow with mm -hmm. um, because <coughs> if a small group that know each other it's mm -hmm. less intimidating to bring in someone yep. new and um, yeah hopefully we can each one reach one <laughs> through okay. that it's good good 
All right, so I have just one or two last questions. Marcus, um, you chose to be in the committee for 2015 despite your busy schedule. Uh, why is that so? I think it's because basically I was forced into this position. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Marcus, why, why did you decide to? Honestly, because I, honestly speaking, I have some issues on, in putting God as a priority in my life. So I guess, in a way, as a CUG leader, I will have the responsibility to be on track mm -hmm. and to be an example or at least try my best. Can we That's great. Continue, right. please. So I can say that um, it will be for the best, I guess, because I will have a certain responsibility to keep to as okay. well. Yeah. Great. That's really good. Thank you for being honest. All right. So last question, guys. There are a lot of college university members out there um, today. And I'm pretty sure they all want to know, you know, when the CUG start um, again in 2015 and why should they even bother coming? So why don't each of you tell the college and university students out there why they should come for CUG? Starting from Jia. Um, I think you should come to CUG because um, <coughs> it will benefit you in the long run mm. because um, you need friends who are going through the same phase as you and friends who can relate to you. Alright, you guys should definitely come to CUG because <laughs> it's an awesome place to be. It's a good mm. place to grow with as well, <laughs> spiritually and both uh, to get, sorry, to, to have fellowship with mm. others yeah. as well. Um, tying in with what Jit Hao said, I think um, when you enter college and university, you'll meet many people who um, don't, don't believe in God and they question a lot of things about Christianity and sometimes you may be influenced by the way they think. For me personally, I've been going through that as well. So I think CUG is a good place to have those questions and doubts answered and it's very important to have those questions answered um, so that you can continue growing to know God and um, yeah, it's also a place where you can um, find accountability partners and friends to grow with you um, mm. throughout that, through that struggle that you're facing because they're probably going through the same things as well. So yeah, come and join us for CUG next year. Great, thank you. And Alicia, when do we officially start in 2015? Mm, that's a tough question. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Let's tell the we start on the 9th of January, um, the same time, 8.30pm. Alright, great. So, alright PJSC, or the college university... <laughs> See, I did this thing. Alright, so PJSC, all the college and university students out there, as you've heard from the three of them, um, CUG is a really fun place to be. So join them every Friday at 8.30 until 10-ish, and they usually go for mama after that. Um, yeah. and, they, <laughs> and they officially start on the 9th of January, so join them. Thank you so much guys for your time. Alright, you. see you guys.